Hi, I'm Julie Spang, Tech Integration Specialist at the Groton Dunstable Regional Middle School in Groton, Massachusetts. My job as a Tech Integration Specialist is to provide just-in-time, personalized, one-on-one -on -one support to the teachers in my school. I also provide support to district staff by presenting professional development during curriculum days and professional development after school. Our district recently underwent a large conversion from our old email system to Gmail. And more importantly, we adopted Google Apps for Education across the district for both staff and students grades 2 through 12. This has enormously changed in a good way our ability to communicate, collaborate, and be creative within our district. I was a part of the team that rolled out 300 plus Chromebooks to the middle school and hundreds of Chromebooks throughout the district. We provided support after school during this conversion and like I mentioned provided PD as well. In order to keep up with all the new things going on with Google I need to use a variety of different sources to keep me up to date. I subscribe to the Google Apps updates and to the Google Apps for Education monthly newsletter. I also read Shake Up Learning and Google Guru newsletters. Podcasts are a great way for me to keep up to date with what's going on. My all-time favorite is the Google Educast. After I've learned about what's going on with Google, I need to find creative ways to share that information with the staff. In addition to speaking during faculty meetings and sending out emails, I try to get creative with the way that I communicate what's going on with Google to my staff. I have developed a monthly newsletter called Learning in the Loo, which is delivered to staff bathrooms throughout the district. That idea was totally stolen from one of your Google certified teachers, Chad Kafka. I also present at conferences locally, both at Krista McAuliffe Technology Conference, the MassQ Technology Conference, and at EdCamps. Behind me now, um, I'm going to close this video with a little EdTech snack that I started to develop for the staff uh, using screencasting technology. Sometimes, no matter what I say, it's easier to hear what is going on with Google by actually viewing a video. So check out this latest EdTech snack that highlights the voice typing capability that was just added to Google Docs. Today I'd like to show you a new feature that was recently announced by Google bringing speech-to-text capabilities to Google Docs. Let me show you how. I'm in Google Drive right now and I'm just going to click on New and open a new document. This will work in existing documents as well. To initiate the tool you click on Tools and then select Voice Typing and a microphone will show up here over in the left. Just Note that I've already given Google permission to use my microphone. You may receive a couple of pop-ups asking for you uh, to allow that kind of permission. It's okay to click Allow. In order to start and stop the speech to text capabilities, you need to click on the microphone. So let me show you a little bit about how it works. Um, I'm going to click on the microphone to start. Hello, everyone. This is the new voice typing available in Google Docs, period. Isn't it great? Question mark. I think a lot of students will benefit from this feature. Exclamation point. Okay. Now, if you notice, I've clicked on the microphone, and um, it has stopped the speech-to-text capabilities. This will give a student to, the ability to go back and edit anything that might not have translated quite appropriately. And um, in order to start that up again, you'll just click on the microphone. <laughs> 